viewers viewers once again we have another special show this is a vision media broadcast once again we have a special special this is a legend right here man this this man is brian hooks he have about maybe nine thousand movies plus <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? he's doing big things out there man and he also have his own independent stuff going on um peace brother how you doing brian thank you man I'm, I'm good i'm good i appreciate you having me on man so yeah like like life is good yeah. just you know what i mean on the you know independent uh in independent train try to keep things yeah. along <laughs> I, I i see you doing things man and and it's a pleasure man that you come on to the show you came on and you know check me out check a vision out you know absolutely and and you are a highly prolific actor producer writer director and a stand-up you do stand-up uh comedy also um be before i just would like to know how do you do all these things you like all rolled up in one you got everything going on how do you have the time to do this stuff man i don't know <laughs> I, I i really don't know man like <laughs> and you know every it's no it's funny everything sort of happened organically though you know what i mean so yeah. um it, it, you know the transitions be so smooth i like i'm you know been doing stand-up for x years before i even realized oh yo i do stand up too man but wow. um it's just you know god bless me with some talents man and i'm just uh have this independent background mm -hmm. to where i don't necessarily have to wait on anyone to tap me That's right. That's right. so you know with, right. the, with the talent and the know-how and the ability i'm mm -hmm. able to just segue and you know and, and not keep myself in a box man and so you know, I try to make sure everything that I am doing it, I'm doing it at a high level. And um, right. so, you know, and so so with that, I'm out here, you know, um, mm -hmm. exercising these gifts, man. Hey, that's, that's a blessing, man. And, and does it also feel like you had to do this stuff basically on your own, you know, come out your own pockets? Or did you get a lot of help along the way? No, nobody helped me. Nobody helped me. Oh, wow. okay, okay, <laughs> um, wow. You know, I'm a, uh, you know, I'm an underdog, man. I'm a, uh, I sort of out, uh, operate outside the Hollywood box, although I've done some studio stuff and okay. uh, studio films. But early on, man, um, you know, a buddy of mine, uh, Barry Bowes, mm -hmm. we had this thirteen thousand dollar film. We went out thirteen thousand. We made this film called Q. Uh, when we finished, yeah, Q, I remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Q. Q was a horrible movie, but it was funny low budget it, low budget but it was cool but it was funny and so it was coming on the hills of fat beach and uh so we had this mid-level distributor xenon entertainment who took it on and that little thirteen thousand dollar film went on to make eight hundred thousand dollars wow. and so wow. there we found a little niche for ourselves to where we can control our own destinies man and mm -hmm. so with that i've uh you know what i thought you know when we were making those films you know not having all the resources or financial resources we wanted uh, may have been a bit of a burden what it turned out to be is a gift um because wow. it allowed me the ability to do uh know how to make a film from start to finish yeah. uh you know and and make it look dope as adam mm -hmm. and eve and mm -hmm. so now i sit here and being able to do what i want when i want how i want wow. it's just a beautiful thing because i don't have to wait on anybody Nobody. to say go or okay or yes right. you know what i mean right. like green light myself you know what i mean from start to finish and so yes my path has been different than the typical um entertainer who's just waiting on someone mm -hmm. to tap them to be a part of their project yeah. uh which is dope is that your, if that's your thing but i think uh you know the foundation and longevity and being able to sustain through the highs and lows um you, you have to be able to create content for yourselves and so in that sense i've always had the ability to do that so mm -hmm. um either i was working with the studios you know mm -hmm. doing the eve show or yeah, high yeah. school high or beloved with oprah winfrey yeah, so forth so forth so well you got a lot you got a lot of movies <laughs> right or i was doing my independent thing with you know wow. nothing to lose and the luau and yeah, adam yeah. and eve and things like that man so with that i've created an incredible balance for myself man so yes it has been uh different in that difference has, has been a blessing wow now how long i see you got your uh resume portfolio is like extensive it's way out there how long does it take you to make a movie and then move on to the next one um you know it, probably like uh six to nine months for six one to nine, 
the one movie, you know, if you if you start from uh, pre-production, which could be, you know, pre-production on an independent film is so important because you don't have the liberty that a studio does. If if we rent, you know, a pizza parlor, say in Eve, Adam and Eve, yeah. and something happens to where, you know, someone could get sick, so you can't shoot that day. If you independent, like, listen, I got this piece of play one day, bro. You know, one, one day. day. You got to make it happen, right? Yeah, we got to make it happen. So you don't have a lot of room for yeah, error. Yeah, with yeah. Studio film, it's like, oh, uh, you know, Sandy's sick. So we're going to push this to the end of the schedule and move wow, on to the. Wow. Yeah, they can do that. They're yes, bad. Yeah. At it. So yes. What happened? So, what happened if, if that don't happen? What happened? If you oh, man, that's 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 the like um, why independent films are so fragile and so you know, delicate, you know, and that's why pre-production, you know, is, is super important to plan around those things. So, you know, I I, I may do something, it, 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 sometimes there's no way around it, you know what I mean? And you end up, you know, having to, you know, suck it up and, you know, spend more money to add it on the schedule. But other times you try to shift and you leave a little room um, for error, you know what I mean? And so again, with pre-production, you know, you, maybe six weeks to make sure you plan out everything then you shoot the production process of shooting is anywhere from two weeks to a month and then the post-production um you know doing the editing you know the sound yeah, yeah, sound yeah. design the score yeah. placing the music and the coloring is all like a three month process but with that you're right at about you know six months so six, six, yeah. nine months assuming everything goes as planned so you know, about six to nine months for a project, and then you know, move on to the next one, prepping and going into the next one. Most times, before you even finish that one, so it's a yeah. lot of work on this independent end. But you know, yeah. it, it sounds like it, it is. It, 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 it could be a blessing. Yeah, okay, I don't know. Yeah, but it could be a blessing as though you could control your own destiny, and like I said before, do what you want, when you want, how you want. But it's work. It's work. I, I'm quite sure it is, and I know that you're working with audio, visual sounds. You got the cameras going on, the mic, yes. the, the boom mic, all yes. that stuff. Did you learn this? Did you go to school to learn this, or someone actually taught you how to do this? Here's the thing, man. I had learned, you know, just having to make movies starting off with one hand tied behind my back, so to speak. I was learning so much stuff that I didn't realize until I was able to step up, and I was trying to do it. You know what I mean? Take everything to the next level and continue making these films. I just went back and realized I knew things about directing and sound that I didn't even realize I knew. But because of, you know, I've just been, you know, following those things away uh, subconsciously along the route. So I've never took any classes on any of this stuff, man. And I sort of learned wow. Wow. on the field, learned on the field, man, to where now it's like, you know, you can't tell me it costs you know, ten thousand dollars to throw somebody out of the window. I was like, nah, I could out the window for a hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Ten thousand. Wow, you know, you know, you work with the best of them, man. You was out there with Kevin Hart mm -hmm. of Soul Plane. Uh yep. so you work with some more, which was your girlfriend on the plane. Yeah. Uh, yep. you, you you work uh you did Mala Booty, right? Malabu Mala Booty, yeah, yeah. Yep. Now all of these work all all of these uh stars well, you know, that you work with, have any any of them been in your movies? No, no, no. Um, let me see. Uh, and Snoop no. Dogg, you know? Snoop, yeah, yeah. Well, Snoop, uh, me and E-40, that was, that was uh, Three Shots. Strikes, right? Yeah, okay. no, uh, we have another one, What Are the Chances is out, but also in Three Strikes. But I would say in my independent films, I haven't used any of those guys. One of the things I do try to do with my independent films is find great independent talent. Okay. You know what I mean? And, and a lot of those films, they try to fill up um, with recognizable talent, which, which is dope. But one of the things I try to make it a point to do is discover the underdog. You know what I mean? Okay. And you hear me say a million yeah. times, I can call myself an underdog. So I'm always looking to find, because there's a, a lot of great it is, actors, it is, actors. It is. and um I, I try to make it a point to tap in uh to those folks when i can so it's not so much that you know what i mean some of these guys are amazing and wouldn't bless me 
um, yeah. to come on the set, but I, I really try to, you know what I mean, uh, discover of the new uh, talent and just go, make, just go make a great film, man. Give other people a chance, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. Wow, so so the, the college, you went to school and, and you turned it into acting or did you stop school and went into how did that happen with, with the college and then with acting? i left you know i you know i always had you know a little entertainment bug in me but i was born and raised in bakersfield california and it's only so much you can do from bakersfield they don't have those avenues of entertainment at the next level okay. um and so once i moved down to go to cal state northridge over at csun um while going to school for math to be a teacher I would uh, add it, you know, a theater class. And so I was slowly but surely getting my feet wet. And, you know, once in a class or two of theater, you know, the bug bit me and, and that, that, you know, that, that fire in me began to grow and grow and grow. And so now I'm taking classes outside of school and now I'm, you know, venturing off and making independent films. And so it just sort of organically segued from me going to school to be a teacher and to, um, you know, nurturing this gift of, uh, entertainment man and it's so it was from there the class led to the next class and then um getting hungry and hungry i found out that it was a magazine that came out um every week called the drama log at the time which is now uh backstage west it was what they call it these two combined and um it had a, a little independent movie in there listed called fat beach I'm and so, it. yeah I'm so i submitted myself for Fat Beach, auditioned six or seven times, end up getting the role. Doug Allen, who went on to create uh, the hit show Entourage, yeah. was the writer director. And from Fat Beach, you know what I mean, uh, did okay at the box office, went through the roof on DVD, and I got a lot of awareness throughout the industry from that. And um, things started to snowball. and. And uh, I've been pretty blessed to, you know what I mean, be, you know, trucking along uh, ever since. That's that's wonderful, man. I uh, I remember when um, I'm just going to, I'm talking about the same thing. I remember 50 Cent was saying that once he make a movie and done with that, he's on to the next one. He don't even care about, you know, that movie. And yeah. Bears, dude, you have, I mean, listen, I, I can go uh, be loved as, as, as a young Paul D, uh, the Q, yeah. Austin uh -huh. Powers, the Parkers, mm -hmm. Obstacles. Three strikes. I mean, I, I can go on and on about these movies. Which one you think was the best movie uh, that you can think of that you made? The best, um, well, I, man. Every, every every film sort of had its own personality, personality. and its own yeah. meaning yeah. at that time, man. I think you know my favorite of the films. Hmm. All right. My favorite might be High School High, and, and, and it's High School High with Makai Pfeiffer, Melinda yeah, Williams, Juan Love, and Tia Carrera, because it was my, you know, first, like, uh, I guess, ensemble studio film. That was a Sony film, and um, it was, I think that was my first time stepping on into a huge budget set. Okay. You know? and so, yeah, and so everything um, was so new. For me, being able like John Lovitch, the Saturday Night Live legend, yeah. meet my bro Makai Pfeiffer that was coming off Crockers with Spike Lee. Yeah. So it was just a, uh, it was just a, a time and a moment that I never forget that I love. And you know the Zucker Brothers who created Airplane and all Naked Gun and all these legend yeah. Uh, yeah. films, man. So it was just a lot of magic moments on that. But then. You know, you go to the Three Strikes, which is a is a good classic. Like, I have yeah, I, I love that. I love that. Me out of the country, who are like, "Yo, yeah. <laughs> Three Strikes in French," and I'm just like, "What?" You know what I mean? And so, um, that that that'll live on forever. So, I love that. And then the Eve Show, you know, we we, we form such a family. The cast and yeah. you know what I mean, and uh, you know, TV show money. Is amazing, you know what I mean? It hit every week like clockwork. You don't have to call. Is, is, is it every week thing with TV show? Wow! Listen, before I get home, bam, it done hit the account. Wow. So, wow. so wow. that was a beautiful thing for a whole nother reason, man. So it's wow. been all these moments, man, that it's hard to, you know, it, you know, what's my favorite? It depends on favorite what, favorite movie, favorite set, favorite is so many, 
you know, different facets that, you know, these moments that I love, man. I've been blessed, bro. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's wonderful, man. And since you're on that, I just wanted to know, it was it was a lot of characters uh, and on the Eve show, right? So I'm guessing everybody got paid differently. Yeah, I mean, from the show. TV is always like that. It's you know, um, you know, it's up to your folks and okay. you know, attorney or whomever you have to negotiate you the best deal. Okay. Obviously, the show is called E and you E. I would hope that you're getting more money than everybody, or else you got some, you need to talk to your talk yeah, to your right. you know? um, but right. on TV man. The money, the money is so great on TV. It doesn't matter who you are. How, when, and where, man? TV money just pays well, man. And this this industry, when you're working, pays well. But the trick is, none of the projects last forever. So you might make a movie and make this great money for the six weeks you're on the movie, but you can't assume oh, wow. that so every bad. every month you're gonna be making a movie. You know what I mean? There's gonna oh. be highs and lows. So you gotta sort of put that money away and patch your account so that you're not desperate and scrambling in between jobs you know what i'm saying so you got to put it in perspective you know you might do a say a, a commercial and make a hundred thousand dollars for one day and that translates to people here like oh you make a hundred thousand dollars a day no he did a commercial for the rest of the year or wow. in, in, in 18 months you don't wow. know wow. so you know you have to you you have to be smart about it and you know, get to a certain point before you try to go out and buy that Ferrari. Don't don't, don't, make, don't do it. Don't make don't seven thousand dollars and go buy a hundred thousand dollar car. That's right. That's right. Don't That's do, right. That. Don't That's do right. that. <laughs> You're right, man. How was that phone call to get on the E show? Now, did they call you personally or had to call your team? They called the team, bro. But it it was first off when they put you on TV. There's a lot of auditions everybody got to sign off they don't just oh, you still got yeah. to audition oh. yeah on movies you know it's just the director and producer in the room they like you yeah. let's do it um with tv it's the casting director it's the person who created the show it's the other cast member who may be attached to the show it's the studio it's the network it's oh, the yeah. Yeah, bro. if you, you see somebody on tv they don't put they don't went through the ranks, man. There's very few people who they just like, oh, we just gonna put you on TV. And so, um, you know, after the umpteenth audition, man, um, I, I always felt that role was mine and it was for me since the first audition I stepped in. I expected um, to get the role, to be honest, I expected it. And uh, sure enough, it was for me, man. And when they called, um, my manager called me and you know i pretty much you know when we left the room they can't say officially but they had let me know you know what i mean the best way they can that they were very happy and i felt good and i got that call and i was just you know blown away man it's amazing you know to come from bakersfield california you know what i'm saying and now you you know on this 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 lot you know when we first came to la me and my cousin used to try to sneak on so we could see people or see a show and so now i'm pulling onto that lot with a parking space with my name wow. on it going into the building with a dressing room with my name on it into that same stage that i was trying to sneak into I was shooting gonna, show that i'm on man so it was like you know god is good i was going to ask you that how does that feel man to be able to now you in the background and you're controlling everything mm -hmm. you know that control is like that power now how, how does it feel, man? Like just to know that you you can continuously make what you want to make. Yeah, yeah that's it's 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 no better feeling, man, because it's a lot of you know you see a lot of folks that you're like, you know, what happened to this guy and what happened to that guy? You know what I mean? Um, you know, because they don't have the ability to create their own content, so they're at the mercy of somebody picking them. You know what I mean? Which is a horrible place to be in this industry um because you have no control over anything and your input and your work doesn't necessarily determine your output you know what i mean yeah, you, you wow. determine all these random factors um so to be able in a position to go out and make a movie like uh adam and eve in the middle of the pandemic when half the city is shut down, shut down. and make it at the level we did and the movie come out and be received 
so well and, and, and people loving it like they are right. is right. an amazing feeling, man. And I didn't have to ask anybody anything to do make that movie. It was like, you know, I decided that this is what I was going to do. And I went and did it. And it's very few people who could do that and do it on that level, man. So it's an amazing feeling. An amazing foundation to have to be able to to go and exercise, you know, your craft and doing what you love and, and be able to, you know, sustain yourself off of it, man. It's just, it is amazing. It's amazing. Adam and Eve, and you just spoke about it. What is the storyline behind? You don't have to go too much in it because I want people to go watch it. Yeah. What 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 is this? What is the story behind the movie Adam and Eve? Well, I, at the end of the day, man, I was saying, you know, it hasn't been a good hood love story in a while, like a quality yeah. good hood love story in the vein of Jason's lyric back in the day with yeah. Bokeem Woodbine and uh, Alan Payne yeah. and, uh, you know what I mean, and, 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 and those guys. And I wanted to make something that, that felt good and felt, you know what I mean, uh, you know, like, like, like love and was real, man. And, um, and, and from that, spawn adam and eve and and i think the story the elements of the story from trip the homeless guy to you know my my best friend noah who and to you know what i mean to to eve and 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 and, and her best friend and and it, i think all these elements like everybody looked at the movie and they could relate to someone and something if not everything and it, I think it, it connected, people connected with it in a very real and emotional way. And everybody emotionally checked it in a different way as well. So it wasn't this one emotion. People felt, you know, the, a, a different emotion depending on how, you know, they related to it. You know, and some people, like I had somebody hit me early, like, the, oh, bro, I went through that. And wow. you know, and it's hard for wow. me to whatever, and I can't take wow. girl. And I don't know how many people have said yes. that happened to me. That happened to me. You know, mm -hmm. not to give up much, but um, you know, uh, love is difficult and complicated. And I think Adam and Eve shows all the, you know, the levels and nuances and uh, mm -hmm. mazes of you know two people who just like yo, I like you, I like you too. Let's mm -hmm. let's let's go be together, be happy, and then life. <laughs> Like the world be like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> let me you go, you go through obstacles, you go yeah. through a lot of obstacles. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. right, that's right. Yeah. 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 Go this way, and then yeah. go yeah. and hold it, hope to take it out. But you know, right. love, love is, is, the, is the most complicated maze ever, you know what I mean? Uh, wow, wow, yeah, man. so and that's that's Adam and Eve, you know. Wow. So, so before I go on to the next one, can you let everybody know where can they go watch that, or, or is it Adam and Eve is streaming on Tubi right yeah. now? You can go on Tubi and watch it for free. Uh, you don't even have to sign up if you uh, don't want to, but you should because it's watch. free, free yeah. content. And uh, Adam and Eve is streaming free on Tubi now. Go check it out. And after you check it out, hit me on my social media and let me know what you thought. There's a couple of casting sites, mainstream exactly. cast, casting yeah, sites, that, yeah. yeah, that I release. And sometimes those folks, you know, we have people from New York, Atlanta, uh, oh. Florida, uh, all of California who submit an audition. So, you know, for me, I, you know, I don't, you know, care where you're from if, um, if you fit the bill. And that's what I was saying before. I love, you know, just finding dope talent. You know what I mean? To they can come and exercise their craft and help bring yeah. you know the script and the characters to life. And so, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, I try to stretch from all ends of the earth to try to find you know the perfect mm -hmm. pieces to make it happen. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like I don't travel, but the, the you know the process travels, and you can put yeah. yourself on tape from yeah. you, know, you know Willacoochee, Georgia. You can put yourself on tape. <laughs> Okay. So you gonna, you gonna come to Philly, man? When you gonna get some Philly, some actors in Philly, man? I mean, yeah, for where you know Philly, you know what I mean? I'm open to that, man. I don't know when I'll be yeah. shooting in Philly, but um, again, it doesn't yeah. matter where you at. Like if you, anyway, you know, self tape, yeah. 
mm-hmm. works. You know what I mean? We'll get you out there and, and, and we'll we'll work. I'm being, we'll be continuing to make films in the new year. So I'll add. Congratulations on everything you're doing, man. You know, and I found this quote. Uh I want to say in your bio, it says, Do you want to sell sugar water for the rest of your life? Or do you want to come with me and change the world? Do, can you do you recognize that? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's uh that that quote sort of, you know, I was in a space to I was trying to figure out and it ties to my left of bang entertainment. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to where what I do is I teach youth, inner city youth who That's normally right. Right. wouldn't have a chance, you know what I mean, to, to do anything um, like that. And I teach them the basics of filmmaking. Okay. And I'm also provide a mentorship and I allow them to meet cool people like J.B. Smoove, Anthony Anderson, Vivica yeah, Fox, yeah, yeah. Kevin yeah. Brown, all these folks come on there and give them words of encouragement. And that's sort of my little piece of giving back. You know, what I found is just... Um, tapping in with some youth and sharing your yeah. stories and ideas for them it does it, does, it moves mountains for them yes, and it, it sets them up to break uh sometimes the horrible cycles that they're trapped in and allow them yeah. to move beyond their person's present circumstances and yeah. so um you know that's 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 my purpose and that's my why and that's what i want to do so i made a vow that no longer where I make movies just to make movies. I'll pinch out five or ten percent and include these youth so that I empower them to live and dream and uh also financially being able to kick back things so that they could be do um cool stuff. And so that quote was from uh you know it it's sorta of, um it, yeah, I think- it you know, it, it's it, it, it basically saying like, are you, are, you know, make sure what you're doing is significant. Make sure what you're doing um, is tied in and moves you because we find ourselves, you know, doing something so you don't want to do or pain and insignificant yeah, yeah, yeah. where, yeah. you know what I mean? Like it's. It's not your passion. It's not your why. It's not your love. You're just doing it because it's stable. So, given the chance to step out, be greater, and do greater, then you should absolutely take that leap of faith. You know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, when it's all said and done, you know, you really don't want to be looking back thinking, I wonder. All them years you wasted. <laughs> if or what would have happened you know what i mean this life that we're living now is not a dress rehearsal this is the actual deal like this is it so make sure you're doing things that make you happy and fulfill you you know what i mean you know what i mean not not you know just just doing something insignificant that because it's comfortable you know what i mean it's okay to be uncomfortable if it moves you to a more um happier uh, progressive place in your life, your body, right. your mind, and your spirit. That's right. That's right. Are you still working with the children today? Absolutely. Uh, 1000%. We just finished a session with my youth in Chicago. Mm-hmm. And then, top of the new year, we go right back in with uh, my Chicago kids and some of my uh, California kids. Oh, but awesome. um, there'll never be a time when I'm not doing that, man. It's, you know, it, you know, it's, you feel like you're, you're giving. You know what I mean, but the energy and spirit that you get uh, from from giving without expecting anything back is no greater feeling in the world, man. And I always say the same thing. There's no is that that feeling that you get from that. There's no car that goes fast enough, no house that's big enough to uh, match the feeling you get from you know uh, giving back and expecting nothing in return. Wow, that's that's wonderful, man. Are you still doing stand up? Yeah, absolutely, man. I just came back from uh Virginia. Where we at in Virginia? And I'm heading back out to Virginia in in January. So and then I will be shooting my first hour comedy special in twenty twenty two as well. So I'm excited about that. I um yeah, you know, I gotta uh, get it out because it's a lot of 
thieves and vultures who, yeah. who love stealing material instead of coming up with their own. So I gotta do my special what? before it's not special no more. I won't say no names, but some of you wow, wow. <laughs> comedians have poached from 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 Brian Hooks. I was gonna ask you that since you were on that uh quick real quick. You said they still people can still your your uh, material, correct? They see they see me do it in the club and then they shoot this special or whatever and then they use my material and then they try to change it up a little bit. But it's my is it's mine. You know, and it's a lot of comics out there who who do that, but you know, I'm I'm really concerned with the ones who are doing that to me. Which I probably reveal them all in the uh hour special. I'm still okay, okay. It's a lot of few people out there. It's, it's few people. It's, it's uh material still is out there. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's still material. Can you get the copy written or like trademark? Can you do that? It's tricky. You know, no, no, not, 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 okay. not, not really, not really. But what I might do is just put the clips up side by side with you know the dates by them. <laughs> so, oh, or yeah. just something just to save yourself. Just something. <laughs> I could do that to them. Like here's, here's you know, it's is in January. Here's you in February, so to speak, man. But um, I'm not happy about that. But I'm not, you know, I'm not letting it make me stagnant. But uh, it's all wow, good. I'm not gonna never run out of funny. Wow, man, Brian. Listen, I know you busy. I know you are. You took your time, your time out to come here on a Vision Media broadcast. I thank you for that. But before we before we close, just one more question: How did that happen with the Moesha show? How did you get on? Uh, on oh, Moesha, man! Oh man, Moesha, <laughs> the Parkers, man! All that stuff just yeah. came auditioning us, you know. Uh, um, auditioning, man, and that's when it was early, and I was green, and again, man, just excited <laughs> to be there. Like I'm from Bakersfield, California, and now yeah. you know I'm on these shows. It just felt absolutely amazing man and that was just you know the process young and green mm -hmm. going in and doing my thing and mm -hmm. you know and uh and, and being a part of that man but yeah that was the days of those, early those are days right the golden yeah. era huh yeah 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 so, blessings well you well you have you have the comedy going on you have all the independent films you're still doing some, some great things what's next for you uh you know in the future right? what, what you got um, gonna, up? um a sitcom with uh bentley kyle evans who uh um, created the jamie fox show and okay. he also was the showrunner for the martin show okay. <laughs> we've created something uh together for myself star myself it's gonna be a dope sitcom um i'm doing a sequel to adam and eve um i have a, a romantic comedy in the in the can that's uh is it's really dope and I'm doing the uh, comedy special, and after that, I I probably rest. <laughs> oh, you going you going chill for a minute now? You know what I mean? Because you got a lot going on. When I say rest. I'm talking about a month. Two about weeks. a month, <laughs> and, and then, then you right back out there. Get back <laughs> at it. Get back at it. Yeah. Look, man, listen, this was fun, man. I thank you so much. Hopefully, we can do this again. You know, maybe down the line. You know, uh, is there anything you want to tell your fans, man? This 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 something. Nah, positive. man. I, I you know I always uh you know appreciate the support man and i know it's a lot of people out there who've been rocking with me from the q all the way up to the adam and eve and the eve show and the three strikes man i'm just very grateful and appreciative to everyone who supports me or turns on my movies and laughs or you know what i mean and all that good stuff man and i realize it's a blessing and i realize they are part of that blessing so i just want to say uh uh you know uh thank you and i'm gonna continue trying to serve you with like amazing content that's dope man everybody this is brian hooks man he gave y'all just a little bit i couldn't keep him too long but he gave y'all enough so go on to watch the i'm going to say adam and eve the number one movie right now tubi is out right now go and and turn on tubi right now and everybody has has comcast network turn it on check it out thank you brother so much i appreciate that man you know thank you bro we'll do it again soon Oh, man, I thank you so much, man, and peace out. A Vision Media Broadcast, we got Brian Hooks. Thanks, brother. Peace. Peace.